Hi, my name is Diane Schuster. In this video, I'm going to explain how to transfer a Cozy Rock license key from one server to another. There is no transition period during which you can run the same license on both servers. You must be completely finished executing packages on the server being decommissioned before you move the license key over to the new server. Here I'm only going to cover the steps for transferring the license key, so if you need a refresher on how to deploy the license key on the new server, you should also watch one of the other license deployment videos on this web page. Choose the appropriate one to watch based on whether your server has access to the Cozy Rock license server or not. Those videos have a lot more information related to deployment of the license key such as what to do if you don't see the license application on your server and what permissions need to be set. Transferring the license key is a manual process. Before you start the process, be sure you have the license.dat file from the server that's being decommissioned. And the next step is to go to our website. It's www.cozyrock.com forward slash customer and you can reset your license record from there and you will need the license.dat file to complete this process. After you've reset the license record, press the Remove button in the license application. And now I'm going to show you how to do that. Go to Start, and then All Apps, and then scroll down and find Cozy Rock SSIS Plus, and then click on License. And there's the license application, and there's the Remove button, and I click on that, and then it confirms that we really want to remove the license key, and we click on OK. At this point, you can go to your new server and request a license key and deploy it as if you just bought a new license. This would be a good time to go watch one of the videos about how to deploy the license key. And that concludes this video.